This video is going to be on the terminology that we use to describe how and where a patient is hemorrhaging. So first, epistaxis is when animals are bleeding from their nose. Hemoptysis is when they're coughing up blood. And hematoemesis is when they're vomiting up blood. There's a few different terms that we use to describe hemorrhage within tissue, including the skin. The first is petechia, then ecchymoses, and hematoma. Petechia means that there's pinpoint hemorrhages, less than two millimeters in diameter. Ecchymoses are slightly larger hemorrhages, greater than one centimeter in diameter. And hematoma is a solid swelling of hemorrhage within a tissue. Hemorrhage can also occur into a third space, so into the cavitary spaces. If there's hemorrhage within the pleural space, that's called hemothorax. Hemorrhage within the pericardial space is called hemopericardium. And hemorrhage into the peritoneal space is called hemoabdomen. Hemarthrosis is used to describe hemorrhage into the joint and there's two terms that we use to describe hemorrhage in the feces, and it helps us localize the hemorrhage as either upper GI or lower GI. And when I say upper GI, I mean stomach, small intestine, and when I say lower GI, I mean large intestine, rectum. Melina is the term we use to mean there's dark, tarry feces or dark, sticky feces. Usually the feces are diffusely dark and sticky or tarry, and that means that the blood has been digested, it's been altered. Hematochesia is used to describe fresh blood that's splotchy throughout the feces, and this is indicative of lower GI hemorrhage. Hematuria is the term we use to describe blood in the urine, and that could be coming from the urinary tract or the reproductive tract. All of these hemorrhages are grouped into two, one of two big categories, and that's internal hemorrhage or external hemorrhage. Internal hemorrhage is when the hemorrhage occurs within the tissues, within the bodies, and the red cells and the iron can be recycled. External hemorrhages mean that the blood is being lost from the body into the environment, so the red cells and the iron are essentially wasted and cannot be reused. 